Is there an attempt to figure out where within the UN system, not only this, I'm sure there's other ways, where the money was spent by South South News and other NLAP saying affiliates, including a DPI NGO conference that was held, including a slavery memorial, including a Cameroon, Cameroon sponsored drumming exhibition in the lobby. It seems like all of these, there should be a record of them. Does the UN keep records of departments taking uh, wh where they take money from, including something called the World Harmony Foundation, linked to Englap Seng and Frank Liu, that sponsored UN Peacekeeping Day. And is it the case, my final question, maybe you can answer it here or later today, is the World Harmony Foundation, linked to Englap Seng and Frank Liu, still a member of the Global Compact? Because on my computer, it still is. And I'm wondering, since the audit, has the Global Compact taken any steps to make sure that Englap Seng affiliates are not promoting human rights for the UN? Uh, certainly, I'll check on whether the World Harmony Foundation is still part of the Global Compact. I, I need to check with the Global Compact Office on that. Uh, regarding the UN Correspondents Association, your colleagues and that association are in this very room, and you'd need to ask that question to them in terms of what you. their concerns are. I'm asking you because uh, you seem I, to I take speak, a lot of, I don't you speak, give them the first question, I don't speak you, for the, you give them a lot of play, and so I'm asking I, you, given this, how do you justify that? I don't speak for the United Nations Correspondents Association. Yes. I think if this is a discussion about who gets a lot of play in this room, then I think uh, you, you, Matthew Lee, get more play than anybody else in this organization. So don't throw accusations um, at the UN Correspondents guys, Association. At least for the benefit of our students have, for, have from a Finland, who I would love, I that, I'd love to show them a functioning newsroom. So, so please, let's, let's keep the, our behavior good. Will it be um, adding due diligence regarding funding sources for media organizations in the future in light of the revelations in this case? Well, we're seeing what uh, recommendations can be done in terms of following up on uh, the allegations arising from the office of the president of the General Assembly. Uh, at this stage, uh, regarding South South News, its accreditation is being reviewed. Uh, I can't speak to what the criteria are under, what, uh, uh, under which it's being reviewed, but that review is happening. Well, um, same follow, follow up on, yeah. the, and on the, the general question for the recommendations for increased due diligence on the part of the UN. I mean, will this be, I mean, will there be financial due diligence uh, related to media accreditation in the future going forward? Uh, we'd, we'd have to see. I can't confirm what that is. We're, we're looking at ways to improve the due diligence in light of this, these latest allegations. Same topic. Yes, and then into South. Okay, I'd like to know because on the same, on the same, very same topic. Given that South South News was used for twelve million dollars of bribes, according to the criminal complaint, twelve million dollars were infused into it by Ang Lap Sang. Some portion of it was spent on this, on this Unka ad, and so I would like to know. You just asked a question, so I'm asking you a question. Yes. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, uh, I wasn't clear on your answer to Lou's question. Is there any investigation of media uh, journalists taking bribes? Or? No. I, at this stage, I can't. I, I couldn't say that there is any such thing uh, going on right now. We we will have to see what further steps are, are need to be taken in terms of due diligence as as we proceed to take in all of the various allegations that, that have come up on, in this case. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, today at 3 o'clock in the Trusteeship Council, there's this uh, informal meeting of the plenary to hear about allegations of sexual abuse uh, in the CAR. And so I wanted to know, uh, you might expect it, I've been trying to get an answer from this, so I would like you to know, what are, the, what are the provisions in terms of being able to stake out the meeting and speak to those entering it and closing it without, in the case of a, of a non-resident correspondent, having a secretariat uh, escort or minder present? What is the, how can that be done? Uh, this, this meeting uh, will be an open meeting, so uh, you should all be able to view it and to, to cover it. Uh, about we, we will out, have standing uh, in front and the chef de cabinet, uh, excuse me, right. the chef de cabinet Just will speak on the secretary general's behalf sure. at that meeting and we'll put out uh, what he has to say once he's uh, delivered it. So, so that uh, so the well, event is an open of, meeting. Yeah, but my question of, of covering it is not just like with the Security Council. It's not to watch it on television. The, it's to stand in front and speak to people what they think. Regarding of regarding coverage, the the normal rules apply, and 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 uh, how close? Certainly, I mean, uh, certainly, is it you necessary can, to have a, you, you an can, escort? You can you can be in contact in with our media accreditation. I tried yesterday, and they'll, and they'll let you know what the required. relevant rules are. Why why is that required? Matthew, this is not, this is a press briefing, this I'm is not you, I'm to a cover place the for you to resolve all of your various anything. problems in life. I'm asking you why you require uh, a Matthew, secretary if escort. you want to resolve that, 
resolve it with media accreditation. I talked I'm, to them I'm, yesterday. I'm the spokesperson. Yeah, I'm I do you. a briefing. I'm this briefing is over if you have no other questions. Thanks.